how can you pick your Shopify store's name? Now, the first thing I want to say is I can pick it for you. But what I can do is give you the framework and outline exactly what you should do in the structure that you should follow when trying to pick your name. Okay, so first of all, I want to say that this is a skill. And this is actually good that you have to pick this. You're all gonna run into this at some point. What do you name your e-commerce business? That's super important. Because that's not just the name of your e-commerce store. That's also gonna be your social media account. And when people are looking at your ad, it's gonna say sponsored by or it's going to say your name and then sponsored underneath it. So people are constantly gonna see this and well, it has to be a decent one. The way to find this is you're gonna have to be creative. And that's why I actually think this is a very good thing. And you're gonna have to figure this out. And that's why even if I could give it to you, which I definitely can, I wouldn't want to. Because you need to build that creativity and learn how to brainstorm. So what I do recommend you to do is don't do this in your head. Don't do this online. Go get a pencil and a piece of paper and write down the first 20 or 30 things that come to your mind. Just anything you can make up words just try to be creative now as for like a couple of practical points to think about while doing that first of all you don't want it to be something that's hard to spell and these are not in any particular order but if it's hard to spell people just aren't going to be able to type it in when someone says it it just makes it a little bit more difficult so definitely have something where it's simple enough to spell now on top of that you don't want to be you know let's say fidgets right you don't want to be digits. You don't want to be something super similar to that. You know, there's Walmart. You don't want to be Walmart. You have to make it unique. It has to stand out. Otherwise, it's the end of the day. People are going to attach your name to a larger brand, which is just giving them more exposure. So it's taking that away from you. You want to be unique and also avoid just words that are tough, like tongue twisters, things that people are going to constantly miss say that's something that i would kind of recommend but also at the same time don't be afraid to invent the word create your own word as long as it makes sense people can say and it's not that confusing and it looks pretty clean you're good to go don't overthink about it it's not one of those things where you should spend weeks and weeks trying to figure that out that should be something you can identify in the next 30 minutes or so so i would definitely recommend you do that but one thing just to note I don't want you to make it very long, so you can have it simple and short. One word, that's great, but I wouldn't have it longer than two words. So if it's longer than two words, it's just gonna cause issues. It's a little bit too long, just too much, just keep it short and keep it simple. Just go to the pure basics. One little thing, there are tools you can use. You can literally google random business name generator or whatever and put in some keywords that relate. Let's just click on one here. You can put in keywords that relate to whatever niche you're trying to do. Maybe if you already have an idea of the niche, the products, whatever you want to be doing on that end of things. You can use something like this. Enter, enter your keyword or your niche, then it will automatically generate names. Look, it just gives you a ton of stuff, so you don't have to necessarily use one of these. But you can use this as an idea to build on. So be creative with it. Take a good name. Don't overthink about it. But definitely spend a little bit of time on that. That's something that's important. You might get frustrated and that's okay. But once you find that name, it'll all be worth it. Once something clicks in your head, it sounds good, just run with it. Just go with it. Don't overthink it. Don't keep trying to make new ones. Just take it and go. You can always change it down the road. But it's gonna be a little bit more difficult if you're already a more established brand. But right off the bat, there's no shame in just switching it. So that's how you're gonna pick your name. Nothing too complicated, you just have to be creative with it. Pick something that's solid and run with it. That's my advice to you. But how do we actually put everything together? If you need help with that stuff, watch our other dropshipping tutorial for free and sign up on Shopify using the link below. If you're into scaling your dropshipping business and want to make it your full-time job, check out an awesome dropshipping course in the link below. Again, please, if you found this video useful, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video.